Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And today I want to do a quick review of this pretty sweet battery jumper. And I actually got it recently and I really want to test it out. It's actually pretty cool. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and have a couple of cars actually. Not my cars, but other cars that I want to test out and see how this jumper works on those cars. Because those cars have been sitting for a while and I'm sure the battery uh, batteries on those cars are dead. So we're going to go ahead and test it out. All right, so this is the jumper that I got actually. It's JS3000 and I really want to test it out and give it a try. This car is actually running, no problems. So we're not going to test this car. We're going to test another car, which is right there. All right, guys, as far as you remember, this car used to be in uh, one of my videos, actually. I think one of my videos, yeah. But this is the car that I saved and restored and it was in pretty poor shape. But right now, it's, it runs, drives amazing, except that it's actually dead right now because it's been sitting for what? Two months? One month? <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, but we have this really cool, amazing jump starter that I want to really test out. So I don't know what's inside of it, but it's kind of like heavy. So that's good stuff. But uh, you open it, I guess, looks like we got some cool alligator clips and everything. We got a charger and all that stuff. Uh, what else we have? We have the actual big box, the jumper right here. So I'm gonna take that out. It looks just like that. And you know, there's a bunch of uh, outlets for it to charge and then you use whatever for it. There's a, there's a light that you can also press and if you're working at night. This is where you uh, connect your cables right here actually so we're gonna connect them here i'm gonna see how this car starts but first before just so you guys know this car is dead i'm gonna go ahead and show you that it's actually dead it's not running <laughs> anyways um but i think the problem is that just the dead battery i don't know what happened exactly uh but yeah this is some i think cool stuff it's got a handle right here so let's go ahead and try give it a try all right guys there's also a really nice manual that it came with and it's a good idea to read this manual it's got a bunch of different languages right here you know um whichever language you guys speak it's probably gonna have that so really good idea to read instructions but obviously you know first what we like to do we just like to go for it you know so we usually don't read instructions unless something happens yeah so anyways we're gonna connect this thing it's got about 75 percent of charge right now i actually didn't charge it it just came like that and you literally just plug it in like that okay and uh we'll try give it a try but first we're gonna try to start it with without uh, anything connected so there's a power button right here boost and all that it's a power button gives you a percentage right there and all that so uh actually i don't know exactly like like how to use everything on it but i mean i'm sure i'm gonna find out later but this is really handy to have somewhere if you go like to on a trip or something the battery dies and it's really handy to have one of these all right so here's the amazing car kind of miss it actually it's not my car anymore my buddy owns it but let's see if it starts up and turn the key on nothing nothing happens she's completely dead and just so you guys know the battery is connected nothing was disconnected on it battery is still connected just don't have my multimeter to show you what's the voltage on that so let's go ahead and give it uh, this bad boy a try all right, I'm gonna connect this bad boy to the battery. So plus is going to plus, obviously. Okay, so we're gonna connect that. And connect it right here. And then I think, let's see. Oh, it's already showing boost power. So I don't think I have to do anything. I just gotta go inside and uh, turn the key. I think. <laughs> Maybe I have to press something. <laughs> maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or maybe this, this car is just broken a little more. Oh, there you go. I think now it should work. Let's see if it's a fail or not. Look at that amazing booster, guys. All the links will be down in the description box. All right, check it out. <laughs> All right, so we're testing, we're testing the voltage on this battery and we got 0 0.6 volts. This battery is really dead. 
There she goes. Other than that, I really recommend this tool. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be carrying it in my trunk all the time, just in case if I need to like help myself out or if I need help to help someone else out. And as you saw, even at 75%, it just works amazingly. And I've already tried a lot of other cars to actually like start them up or jump them. And they, uh, this thing just barely like it just doesn't really go down in you know charge, which is really good. And uh, yeah, it's a really handy, nice little tool. All the links will be down below, guys. And yeah, go ahead, check it, check it out yourself. If you guys want to? I mean, it's super handy. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it inside uh, of my 190e, and yeah, just enjoy it and use it if I ever need to. Hopefully not, but you know, we'll see. This is really handy to have. Super small, easy uh, to use. Uh, also, guys, don't forget to save old school cars. Right? They don't make them like they used to. Save amazing old school cars, guys. Thanks for watching.